Hey YouTube, how you guys doing today? Kevin here, coming at you with another video. Working on the Yamaha Virago XV1100, same as the 750, the 700, and well, you guys get it, you know. So, I have to do an oil change to the bike. And yes, I have to remove my forward controls just to get the filter cover off. I'm sick and tired of taking the filter cover off. Just to do a darn oil change. So we're going to start doing the process of putting a remote oil filter assembly on this bike. Here's the problem with that. They don't make an XD1100 Yamaha Virago remote oil filter assembly. Okay? That's the problem. I wish they did, but they don't. So the parts that we're going to be using today are from a Yamaha V-Star. XV 1100 the bike is a different bike it's basically the bike that took over for this bike um, when they start production on this one so they ended the Virago and they started making the V-Star and uh, so a lot of parts are interchangeable but most of them are not there's very far and few pieces on that bike that will work on this bike especially without heavy modification now the part that is um, that I'm using on this bike I had to modify heavily and um, it took me about 45 minutes to an hour just to do it. So instead of doing that on film and boring you guys with a bunch of drilling and a bunch of cutting and a bunch of grinding and a bunch of everything, I'm going to explain to you guys what I did. Okay, I think it would just be a little easier for you guys because the video is would just be astronomically long. Alright, so I'm going to get into it. And uh, But before I do, please hit the subscribe button. And the bell icon so when I post the video, you guys get it. Alright, let's get crack a lacking. Okay, so we're going to start off with the cover here. Alright, so here's the cover assembly right here. That's where the cover goes for your oil filter. And here it is right here. Now I left this on the bike. You can see the cut marks on it right there. I left it on the bike because in order for the part to fit, we had to notch out right here. Okay, it's just... Too, um, the part of the bike hangs down too low and it interferes with the cover. So let me show you guys the cover. Alright, up here on top of this lawnmower is the cover. And this is what it looks like. And it's got the two fittings. you got your oil in and your oil out on top. And that's what it looks like. But the, see right here, this bank right here is just a hair too high. Because it's really thick. So it's a little too high. So you have to modify... right here so here's how I did that I left this cover installed you can see the cut marks in it okay because I'm not using snow more this is trash all right so what I did was I used my Milwaukee M12 this is a grinder you could change directions on it and I cut into the housing and then kind of pulled it down a little bit you know pushed in pulled down pushed in pulled down I left the cover on because I didn't want any aluminum shavings into the motor. So they worked out pretty well. Then I used my carbide tip right here. You guys can see that right there. And then I kind of pushed and pulled until I got my desired depth and cleanliness. How nice and clean I got it. So there's no burrs except for right here which I have to use to uh, clean up. But easy enough to do. Um... So that's how you modified that right there using the M12 and the um, carbide burr. All right. So then after I got that done, I was able to pull the cover off, clean it up one more time, you know, just with the rag, pull the filter out. Then I had to modify this cover. This thing right here is what took all that time. So we go, oh, it didn't take, shouldn't take that long. Yeah, it did take me long, and I'll show you why. Right here in the center, right where my thumb is, is where the hole is supposed to be, right here. Okay? But you can see how the hole is off-centered. So if I put this on, I would have no oil pressure at all because the oil wouldn't be able to go anywhere. And then I'd blow a ring, and then all the crap would come out. Okay? So let me show you guys where that is. So... On the XV1100, um, what do you call it there? 
the um, the other bike it's off to one side on the Vista but on the Virago the hole is straight up so I had to make sure that my oil passage lined up so here is what I did I used my center punch I center punched the hole directly in the center then I used a small 3 16th bit I drilled slightly down to basically the tip then after it went in I angled it so I could drill in to this port so I angled it so I went down an inch at an angle so if you're looking at the thing straight like this put this down for a second I drilled in at an angle like that headed towards you guessed it that port okay I did that with the small drill bit then I followed it with the 5 16 bit or 8 millimeter okay and then I was able to bore into it and then if you see right there in the wall down bottom there where the wall is ripped out okay so it's it's only going to take out a small portion of that wall then what I did was I used my carbide bit on the back side of this port and the front side of this port to open that up to 5 16 8 millimeters and that's how I was able to get that passage to open up both of them are sealed within the ring so you don't have to worry about that and that is how I modified this adapter to fit this bike so what I'm doing right now is I'm getting ready to mount this on there. I put the new O-rings on there because I bought the uh, oil filter. And don't reuse the filter. When you take that O-ring off, just throw it out, buy new ones. Or buy just buy, I bought a filter, an extra filter. And throw away the filter and just use the, uh, the O-rings because that's all I really want out of it. The kit didn't come with good um, O-rings. So I used good quality O-rings from an actual oil filter assembly. All right, guys, I'm going to get you guys in the stand, and uh, let's get crack All right. So one of the other things you want to do is right here, there's an O-ring. See that O-ring right there? That O-ring is, if you take off this bottom bolt, there's a hole right here, and it will drain out the oil um, from you know, when you go to do the oil change. You take that bolt off, and you can drain out that area. So we're going to replace that with a new one right there. Just like to take the oil and dab that on there. And I'm putting oil all the way around here to lube the seals. Just like so. Don't care that it's old oil. Don't matter. We just want this thing to slide in. Make sure that oil ring right there does not move. Do it. And voila. Just like that. And then we can get some bolts and start bolting this bad boy down. The bolts that come with this set, you cannot use. They will not work. Look at that, you guys. I got a blood blister right on my finger right there. Um, they won't work on this bike. Okay, so make sure you use your bolts that came out of your bike. Um, those are the best ones for this job. All right. All right. And you can see on the bottom, this is the bottom bolt, how it's got a big shank on it. That's because it goes through that O-ring and then this wiring clip right there. That should fit through. This is the long one for up in here in this corner here. And then you get your short one right there. Snug as a bug in a rug. Alright. Let's see what size these are over here. Just want to snug these up. Yeah, yeah. Oh, I already did that. Alright. Cool. And then, of course, you got your two lines. These are going to be changed out for better ones. 
but for right now, they'll be all right. We got a couple of cool things we're going to be doing to this bike. We're going to be putting a full frame under this bike. Because right now the engine's basically hanging here. We're going to be building a full frame for this thing. So that's there. It was. I got the wrong size wrenches, I think. So I'll snug them up. Now what I'm doing is I'm just doing a rough fitting because I still have to shim the, um, whatchamacallit there, the forward controls. Because right here, these fins are going to be coming out and there's going to be an angle because these are going to be going out this way on, and the oil filter is going to be on the other side. So this is only temporary. I just want to see if there's going to be any leaks. And then of course here's your oil filter right here. It's just a regular screw on filter which is nice because I don't have to deal with the cartridge filters anymore so that's a pretty cool thing I think and then of course snug it up then this will go this way and that will go that way just like that. I right, get the right wrench. All right, so we got that all situated and all set up there. And then, of course, there she is, guys. Just like that. So it's pretty cool. I had it uh, run a few minutes ago. I have a uh, a little leak at the fitting here, but there's no um, sealant on the threads. You can see it actually leaking down right here. But that's okay. We don't really care about that at the moment because that is coming off. And we have to get the ankle fittings to put this uh, right where it needs to be. So I'm going to end the video here. Um, there will be a part two to this after I get the, um, the proper fittings and all that on there, but, um, pretty neat how it works. I did, um, I don't remember if I mentioned it in the video. There's one more modification I had to do, and I think I might have, but who knows. I'm just gonna do it anyway. This bottom bolt right here on the housing, I had to drill that out to 5 sixteenths. And uh, just because of the shank. Yeah, I, I think I mentioned that. Because of the shank where it goes through there. Um, other than that, that's all the modifications. It was a pretty simple, easy to do. Um, like I said, it took about 45 minutes of drilling and prep work and all that type of stuff. Making sure it was clean. Blowing it out. Washing it down. Just make sure it's clean. And uh, make sure it's all set. These lines that come with these things, from what I've been told by people who have done... This modification to their bikes have said that these lines are junk. And you know what? They've been riding for a very long time. I'm going to take their word on it and I'm just going to simply replace them. Um, and you can tell all the bikes have had the same things done to them. And of course, the way these fittings come out, they come out straight. So they're going to go right around the exhaust. That is where the danger happens when you get them around the exhaust. So that's why I'm going to be using angle fittings to kind of, you know, bring them through, you know, closer to the starter and away from the heat. And uh, I got to obviously mount the uh, oil filter itself, but I'm pretty happy with the system as it is right now. So we got the oil filter on there. I got to get the fittings. I'm going to do that, seal those, and then uh, go from there. So anyway, guys, I hope that this video was info you know helps you guys out with your your build because this is a really cool thing especially if you have forward controls like i do i've got these cool forward controls and um i want to keep them 
but I also like to maintain my bike and change the oil when it's due. And as you can see from the color of it, it's due. So um, I want to make sure I get that all situated and squared. And to do that, I got to get that oil filter in a different location. Also going to be installing an oil cooler in line with a little cool oil pressure gauge. So I know what the oil pump is doing for the bike. Anyway, guys, that's all I got for you for right now. Thank you for watching. Thank you for subscribing. And um, you guys have been great. I'm out.